This is Patrick Stillman for The Word San Diego. Today, the word is murals, and I'm gonna take you across a journey through the neighborhood of Hillcrest to see the amazing contributions that local artists have made to the streets of this incredible neighborhood. I decided to start our tour here at Sunny Boy Biscuits on the corner of Robinson and Park Boulevard. We're going to travel one mile from this destination to our final mural. If you decide that you wanna take this trip as well, then plan for about 70 minutes. And because we're gonna be going back and forth across several streets, it'll be about a three mile hike. So a great day to spend in fabulous Hillcrest. Before we start the tour today, I'm gonna to do what I suggest everyone does. Pop inside Sunny Boy Biscuits, grab some coffee, and uh, maybe a biscuit, maybe a pie. <laughs> Heading north to University and Park, the Egyptian Quarter. 100 years ago, the Egyptian fad stormed the country with the discovery of King Tut. On historic Route 80 and 395, Hillcrest was impacted by the Egyptian revival design. The Egyptian apartments, formerly the Egyptian theater, stand as a testament to this architectural movement. Explore the preserved facade and artifacts along Park Boulevard. The Flame, once San Diego's most high-profile lesbian bar with its neon sign and Mondrian-esque building facade. Opened in 1984, it memorializes a fire at the previous restaurant, the Garden of Allah. A New Path by Reagan Russell at Park and University. An isometric pattern creates a winding, colorful 50-foot passage, inviting you to experience the artistic diversity of Hillcrest. This was created with the support of ArtReach in 2021. We will now head west into the heartland of Hillcrest. As we make our way down University over the course of a mile, make sure you periodically look down where you will find 150 granite markers representing regional plant and animal life embedded in the sidewalks. This is all part of the public art program from 1998 called Fossils Exposed by Doran Rosenthal and the City of San Diego. We come upon Hillcrest Business Association, which has over a hundred year history in the neighborhood. They are the power behind iconic symbols like the Hillcrest flag, the Hillcrest sign, and events like walk in art, farmer's market, city fest, Nightmare on Normal, Pride of Hillcrest Block, and many more. This is an OG mural from Hillcrest that has been resurrected by Hillcrest Business Association. When you get here, look for some chalk and make sure you write down a message to share with the world the one thing that you would do before you die. Just across the street, a 65 foot tall flagpole stands with a 30 foot tall pride flag. This flag is changed every three months and is a vibrant symbol of diversity and the site of many community events. You'll also find the Pride-inspired mural by Carly Ailey, which was created in 2023 on the side of 7-Eleven. Another block westward, find Lemons by Karen Dang at University in Richmond. This mural also holds remnants of the now defunct Filter Coffee House's Java inspired mural. Just a few short steps away in the adjoining alley, discover the secret street art alley between University and Essex. Featuring ever changing murals, this alley showcases the first of muralist Alex Physics murals on this tour. I mean, they're all, they're all special, especially alley murals, you know, because you're not really doing it to get rich, you know. Alley murals are always just something from the heart, you know. I mean, the murals you have here speak for themselves. 
Heading south towards Balboa Park, you'll discover The Painted Ladies by Sarah Stiber. I am a painter, now a muralist, a jewelry designer, a tape artist. Um, I'm probably forgetting something. I'm an artist. And I just got into murals a couple years ago, actually, but I've gone really hard with murals in the last 12 months and have become really obsessed. There's just something about creating public art for the people that really lights up my spirit and that feels like the kind of work that I'm supposed to be doing in the world. Like it feels so incredibly meaningful to create art for everybody to enjoy and be part of. This mural, which is on a building called Duplet in Hillcrest, is about painting and manifesting your dreams into reality. When I was ideating about the concept for the mural, I was thinking about how people were going to like come into this apartment and they were going to build it as their own and they were gonna bring their whole lives and all their favorite stuff into it. So I wanted to create a mural that really honored the people moving in and that experience of like moving into a place and really making it your own. So I created what I call the painting ladies as like a little nod to the San Francisco painted ladies and so on each building there's on one side there's a woman wearing stripes painting polka dots and on the other side there's a woman wearing polka dots painting stripes and the idea is that they're sort of like creating the world that they want to live in and then what was really exciting about this mural was after I finished the apartment complex invited me inside to create and do interior design, which was like my artistic interpretation of what the figures in the mural are painting and what they're creating. That was really fun. I just got off a big art show and the amount of people that came up to me at that event and said, Sarah, the mural you did in Hillcrest, the mural you did in Bankers Hill is part of my everyday life. I walk my dog. It's part of the visual landscape of my life and it brings me joy every time I walk by it. Hearing that kind of feedback is just so incredibly meaningful to me and I think that the way things look and the amount of care and love that's put into a community really matters and I think it has a, it trickles down and it has an effect. It's like how, you know, when there's a mural on a wall, there's less graffiti, there's less trash around it. It's, it creates this level of like care and intentionality and cultivation that I think really like leads to everybody taking a lot of pride in the neighborhood and it, it feels also like yes I am creating this mural but it feels like a real collaboration with the community you know they become part of it people watch me create it or like part of the story is part of the process the figure in this mural is actually um, the model is a hairdresser that works down the street. So it's like in every mural I do, I want to really engage, incorporate, and honor the community that I'm inside of. Making your way back to University Avenue, encounter Undulation by Skywalker, created in 2014 on the facade of the California Coast Credit Union for The Hub at the corner of University and Vermont. As you walk along the same street, or if you wander through The Hub, past Trader Joe's, you will find the Vermont Street Pedestrian Bridge, which is a 420 foot long steel and concrete pedestrian bridge leading out of Hillcrest into the adjoining neighborhood University Heights. The bridge features 28 laser cut stainless steel and colored plexiglass railing panels with icons and quotations celebrating metaphors of time, walking, and bridging. This was created by stone, paper, scissors, and received an orchid for its architectural importance from the San Diego Architectural Foundation's annual Orchids and Onions. Heading back through the hub to University Avenue and making your way westward, we come to the final mural on the east side of the Highway 163 in Hillcrest. The Loading Dock by Linda Churchill of Muralizing was created in 1998 on the side of the Hillcrest Ace Hardware. Look for the plaque dedicating the mural to the community of Hillcrest.
Once we cross over into the west end of Hillcrest, find The Mural Celebrating Diversity by Jason and Frida Gould of Vision Art Supply. Created in 2022 at University and 6th Avenue. This is Hillcrest's longest mural at 170 feet, marking the gateway to Hillcrest. The neighborhood symbol, the Hillcrest sign on 5th and University, was first installed in the 1940s by the Hillcrest Women's Association. Recently upgraded, the sign now shines its LED lights in various colors during key holidays. As we make our way down to 3rd and University, we will pass Urban Moe's Bar and Grill. Moe's, that was a fun job. Uh, it was nice paying some of it for the community for Hillcrest. I lived here since uh, 99, so I'm kind of like a little resident of, of Hillcrest. And, you know, I like the people here, and it's very colorful. Every once in a while, you'll get people that just do stupid stuff, like throw paint on your mural. And it's, it's not, you know, and that's the nature of murals, and you can't really get upset about it. But so the owner had a great idea uh, to put a mask on it. So I put the mask on it and then uh, I believe I went back and changed the back. Heading south towards Bankers Hill, we find We See Together by Jet Martinez, created in 2016 at 4th and Robinson, located in the parking area of Artists and Craftsmen Art Supply. This mural was created for the Pangea Seed Foundation's Seawalls Murals for Oceans Festival. If you're a creative person, you'll want to stop inside this artist-run small business. Visible a half a block east, discover Circus Elephant by Vincent Ghost, also known as Cody Griffin. Created in 2012 in the alley on Robinson between 4th and 5th, on the side of Crest Cafe. This was commissioned by the restaurant to commemorate its 30th anniversary. A stroll down Fifth Avenue brings you to Hillcrest Mural. I've known Jack since about, I think, sixth grade. I've known his uh, younger brother, went to school with him. Uh, and then- uh, I Grew up in the same, the same area, the Ocean same Beach. neighborhood. Yeah, Ocean Beach. And, uh, Starts it. I guess started collaborating, working together about uh, like a year ago, somewhere around there. Once we connected, it, it just it, it vibed. It, was, it, was, it gelled real well. California Bank and Trust. Uh, one of their employees found me on Instagram, and uh, from the Portuguese Hall, we did, and um, just reached out and you know said our bank was trying to do our a mural project. Pretty positive mural, and uh, I think uh, showcases that. Uh, Positive vibe that Hillcrest exudes, and uh, it's got that Hillcrest pop to it. Yeah, local landmarks and whatnot, and um, uh, staples of San Diego, pretty much. Start with like you know, or Mission Hills, hit the Mission, um, um, the Hillcrest sign, Balboa Park. Uh, I, I did a little shout out to or like uh, Harper's uh, Topiary Garden. Looping back up into Hillcrest, you will arrive at the centerpiece of the self-guided tour. Welcome to Mural Alley. Mural Alley hosts works by nine muralists located behind the Studio Door Art Gallery between 4th and 5th, entering off of either Richmond or University. Started by local businesses, the alley has more than doubled its murals when the Studio Door Art Gallery and studios moved into the neighborhood. Hillcrest Business Association organized a fundraiser to light the alley each night for the public to enjoy the murals anytime during the day or night. This is the location for the free community event on the first Thursday of every month known as Walk in Art, showcasing music, food, and artisans monthly from 5 to 10 p.m. My name is Max Moses, aka Pose 2. Uh, I think the whole transition into mural making comes from my years of doing street art, uh, graffiti, writing, 
um, you know, and it's just the evolution of that, you know, just from writing our names and expanding them bigger and bigger and adding design elements in the background. I don't think we called them murals back then, you know, but that's, that's the inception for sure. Well, this piece kind of uh, took place in stages. First, I actually just did the graffiti piece here <laughs> and just went out here and painted. And so I just rocked out anyway. And then I was like, oh, I want to go bigger, do something bigger. It's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's figure out how we can make it happen. So at the time, um, you know, I was really just having these deep connections with my mom who passed away. And she's always like communicating with me from the other side. And at the same time, you know, I have a younger son and the relationship between him and his mom is so tight. I just wanted to do this piece of artwork that was you know, just showing the connection between a mom and her son, you know? And so that's why this piece is called Son, Mommy Loves You. And as the process of the mural took place, I invited a lot of mothers and their sons to come by in the making of the mural and just have a conversation about their connection with their son. So yeah, it was a beautiful experience. I just started doing live art at first. And then I met a couple of people who were doing murals. And I wanted to do murals, and so then that's how I got into my mural work. I have a pretty unique style, just because, you know, my animation, so background. Um, people say they can recognize it. I think every artist has their own style, though. I mean, it's just very cartoony, you know? And then, but when I do my airbrush, it's more like, a, like, geeker looking stuff, which, you know, I haven't done for a while, but I enjoy it. I kind of wanted a speakeasy mural, um, and because you know it wasn't really a wasn't really a job, um, I kind of just went at it. Um, uh, the owners here are really nice. It's like a little speakeasy. It's a really good place. It's a cave. The guy at the pizza shop said he wanted a mural, and I said, "Well, you're going to get Ninja Turtles." In. You know, I grew up with the Ninja Turtles, and the reason why people probably like it is probably because they, they grew up with it too. It shows the people and, and their spirit and the community, so it's, it's really important. It shows the success of a community. I mean, the more artistic, the more architectural we sound. Make your way into the studio door with 17 studio artists. The studio door has become San Diego's premier art gallery since 2014. Creating the world you want to live in with monthly art fairs, artist receptions, and creative mentoring. The Studio Door celebrates diversity, inclusion, and quality, providing a welcoming, supportive, and safe environment for all its artists. Leading by example as an artist-run business and gay-owned, the Studio Door has built a local reputation for resilience and vibrancy. Towards downtown on 4th Avenue, two blocks from our last mural, you'll find a quaint little corner where here is Revision San Diego. And on Saturdays and only Saturdays, are they open to the public? That's an amazing little art shop that you have to check out. You head next door to Sister's Pizza. It's a great place to sit down on the patio and reflect upon all of the amazing murals that you saw on this tour today. Take care and I hope to see you soon in fabulous Hillcrest.